Hello everybody, how's it going? It's the Film Optimist. Um, I'm talking about The Little Mermaid 2. Return to the Sea. Um, Roman numeral 2. Or Return to the Sea, am I right? <laughs> Marketing genius here. So Ariel got her wish. Uh, she's a human and she's got her man, uh, man, men, man. She's got her man, Prince Eric. They have a baby, Little Melody, and she's quite the opposite of her mother. A dreamer, of course, but she wants to be a mermaid, uh, like her mother was. Wish, uh, wish, of course. Which, of course, she knows nothing about, because what a weird story to tell your daughter. Oh, and they want to protect her from Morgana, Ursula's evil sister who sounds suspiciously like her. And they've never mentioned her before, so... Um, and Melody's got it right. Why the hell would a mermaid want to be a human? Her mom's weird. With a welcome addition of two new characters, Tip and Dash, who? The heroic the heroic duo comprised of a penguin and a walrus. This isn't a bad Disney sequel. Could we have done without it? Sure, whatever. Does that even matter? I liked it. Shut up. Um, And this one came out before Ariel's Beginning, the prequel. Um, it's like Disney Tunes... I don't know. I'm not about to look all that up right now. I only talk about the... This is Disney's X film right here. This is this film. They're, they're fourth, you know? like Because I think that's really interesting. The like Disney 2, not so much. It's, it's like it's whatever. It returns to the sea. Uh, Jody Benson returns as Ariel. Um, Kenneth Mars as King Triton um, returns. Samuel E. Wright as Sebastian and Buddy Hackett as Scuttle in his final film role before his death in June 2003. Um, Pat Carroll, who voiced Ursula in the first film, returned as Ursula's sister Morgana, the sequel's new villain. Like, and, and why, right? Pat Carroll, amazing. Um, rest in peace. Uh, Queen, like Disney royalty for sure, um, along with Jody Benson. Pat Carroll was so great, and um, I get wanting her to return, but it feels so forced. She does she does amazing as Morgana. She does really well, but it just it comes off as um, lazy, you know, just to do the same character, but skinny. She's skinny. Morgana's skinnier. Don't worry. She's skinny. She's not Ursula. She's Mor Morgana. Tara Charon Charondoff? You mean Tara Strong? Why does it say her married name? She was born as Tara Lynn, Tara Lynn Cherendoff. But isn't her name Tara Strong? She got divorced in 2022, so she went back to being Tara Cherendoff. She changed her name again. That would make sense. I'm going to have, that's going to be really hard to get used to saying. Charon, Charondoff? Am I even saying it right? Tara. Um, she's done amazing voice work. She's Melody. Melody's fucking annoying. Um, but like, in an understandable way. Like, you're like, oh my god, shut the fuck up. Why do you want to be a mermaid? Of course you want to be a fucking mermaid. You're a little girl. Like, Holy shit, she loves the water. She's gravitated to the water because it's in her blood, literally. Um, they do this a lot with um, these Disney Toon sequels. Do the first film, but opposite. Their kid wants the opposite of what their mom and dad want. And then, like, the parent that used to live that life and used to be that person hilariously fights against that, like... Like, don't you know, like, that's, they're you, and you're, like, and you're sounding like your parents, and I get that's, like, a, that's the whole point of this. I, I guess the, the most frustrating thing about this trope is how real it is, like, but it, it's, like, a lazy trope to fall back on. Uh, Rob Paulson replaced Christopher Daniel Barnes as Prince Eric. Really? Rob Paulson was Prince Eric? 
K E Cuter voice Grimsby replacing Ben Wright who died four months before the first film was released. Oh man, who else is in this? Kenneth Lawrence, yeah, we got that. Max Casella as Tip. Um, he's in a bunch of shit. He's the voice of Daxter in Jack and Daxter. Um, Dash. Stephen first. Um, yeah, yeah. Clancy Brown is Undertow. Clancy Brown is amazing. Cam Clark voices Flounder. Flounder was a little. If you don't know Flounder, if you don't know anything about Little Mermaid, what's the cute little yellow fish that's on the the box with? It's like her sidekick. He's. There's always like an animal sidekick, not always, but usually an animal sidekick and uh, Flounder was very much Ariel's sidekick and you know she a lot of people don't think about this she left all of her friends and family and everyone that she's known ever known for some human dick Ariel did she left so when she at one point in this film she has to go back and, and save her daughter um they don't take her voice away. She gets to talk as a mermaid. Um, uh, what is the what is the the thing even? What is the what is the thing? Mm hmm. Yep, yep. 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 Morgana. Morgana. Melody is discovered by Undertow. Melody steals a small boat and sails away from home. Melody is discovered by Undertow, who leads her straight to Morgana. In desperation, Sebastian tells Ariel and Eric that Melody went out to the sea. Meanwhile, Melody meets Morgana, who reveals that Melody's background is marine, and uses the remains of Ursula's magic to transform Melody into a mermaid. Triton prepares search parties and is convinced by Ariel and Eric to use his trident to transform Ariel back into a mermaid in order to help in the search for Melody. Ariel searches the sea for Melody, regretting not sharing her heritage with her. Melody visits... So she just... There's no um, deal made yet, but transforms, into a, transforms her into a mermaid. Melody visits Morgana to thank her, only for Morgana to tell Melody that the, the spell was only temporary, that she can only make her, the spell permanent if Melody retrieves the trident from Triton, which Morgana says he stole from her. Okay, so he's got to go, she's got to go steal the trident from Triton, just like Ursula wanted. If Ursula and Triton are brother and sister, which isn't confirmed, I know, that was just like a, a pre, what is it called? What is it? Pre-release? I forgot what it's called. Um... Pre-production. It was a pre-production thing. Um, but if they were brothers and sisters, does that mean Morgana is Ursula's? Like, they're all just related? It'd be weird. Um, but, uh, has to go steal the trident. There's just little fishy tail. My whole point was Flounder. Ariel sees Flounder, and he's like, Ariel? And his voice sounds fucking weird as shit. And, she, and he looks so fucking weird. Like, what do they do to my, what do they do to my man? My little fishy man. Little Mermaid too. I mean, you could say the same thing about the live action, but this is, I, this is arguably worse. It shows the classic. There's like Flounder's kid looks like just like Flounder. Just like Flounder did. I'm gonna change the Look at this fucking guy. Like, oh my god. This is how he used to look. Very adorable and cute and sweet and nice and what the fuck is that?